A new report from the Social Security Board of Trustees said that the current trajectory of the Social Security Fund will become insolvent by 2035 because it's drawing down faster than it can be replenished. Uh, look, this was a Ponzi scheme from the start, but now it's really bad. Last year, there was over a $40 billion deficit on that program. This, and this didn't sneak up on us. We've known this for decades. It's unbelievable that we haven't done anything. But it's like the third rail of politics. Whichever party is in the minority, they criticize the other party for not doing anything about it, and then neither party does anything, and they just kick the can down the road. Republicans recognize that the life expectancy since the origins of Social Security has gone up by 16 years. So naturally, they say they want to raise the age. They, didn't, they never actually do it, though. Democrats, however, as always, just want to raise taxes on you to make up for the difference. But what they fail to realize is if you were to confiscate every dollar from every billionaire today, it still would not even remotely cover the $25 trillion in liabilities for Social Security over the next 75 years. But the real problem is there's not enough people working to pay the taxes to cover the people retiring. When Social Security was founded, there were 42 workers for every one recipient of Social Security. Now, there's three. Three workers for every recipient of Social Security. They're also living 16 years longer. Ever wonder why the federal government tells you not to eat eggs or not to eat steak or eat healthy or do your own research? This is stuff we've done for, I don't know, 10,000 years. Instead, they make us think that high fructose corn syrup and processed foods and seed oils and Lucky Charms, where half the ingredients are banned in other countries, are better for you than red meat and eggs. The federal government is raiding farms, selling raw milk, chicken factories are mysteriously burning to the ground, and farmers are being told to execute their cattle across the globe. The government needs you to die early. It's a conversation for another day, though. You, you want to know why I don't trust the government, folks? Social Security is literally the perfect example on a long list. Hear me out. If you saved the same amount of money mandated by Social Security working a median income job, by the time you're 67, you would have put away $600,000, give or take. Now, the federal government took that from you under the banner of Social Security withholdings. Now, if you had invested that money in a private brokerage account, earning, I don't know, like let's call average it out, 5% a year, that money would be worth about $1.9 million today. Your annual interest today would return you $95,000 a year on that. That means you could draw a $95,000 a year paycheck without ever having to touch your $1.9 million that you saved. The government didn't do that. Actually, they spent it as it you know, comes back to themselves, obviously, on tons of other stuff. So instead, after all your contributions paid in at the median income rate up to the age of 67, they will give you $3,000 a month, which comes out to about $36,000 a year. Thanks, guys. So the money I was forced to put in, that I gave to the government as an interest-free loan for 50 years, I get one-third of what I could have gotten if I had been in control of that money? Awesome, guys. And now the government is telling me that by the time I'm 55, that account is going to be completely insolvent. And I'm going to get even less, if anything at all, than the already criminally low return. That I was promised, by the way. I was promised that money. I mean... Tell me with a straight face to trust the government after hearing that. This is why I hate them. And you know what I would love? I would love for just one Democrat to explain to me with a straight face why illegal immigrants breaking our laws are getting more benefits than my retired mother who maxed out her Social Security contributions for the last 50 years. Anybody? No? Didn't think so. And, and, and no one wants to fix it. Why? Because no one in D.C. wants to make tough decisions because they're worried that they're going to get thrown the hell out of office for taking all the money out of the Social Security to fund that they spent on whatever government pet projects they wanted for decades instead of investing it like they should have.